Hi everyone, hope you're doing good and having a great week. To all my returning subscribers, thank you for your support. And to all our viewers and those recently subscribed, thank you and welcome to this channel. Well, as you saw at the introduction of this video, I was recently back in New York City and I took the opportunity to visit Bullion Exchanges again. This will be my second visit to the Bullion store uh, this year. And if you'd like to watch the video for my first visit, I'll leave the link to it right up here. Now, my initial plan was to purchase the Sunshine Bed 10 ounce silver bars, as well as uh, several more of the silver bottle caps from Bullion Exchanges. Uh, the Sunshine Mint bars are nearly impossible to find here in Singapore, and where they do come up, uh, they tend to sell at a much higher premiums than the other bars that are available here. Unfortunately, by the time I got to Bullion Exchanges, uh, the bars have been sold out, so I had to change my plan and invest in something else. So in the end, at the very last minute, I chose to invest in this very beautiful uh, US Buffalo 1 ounce of gold coin. Uh, these gold coins were patterned after the US uh, Buffalo nickel and have been minted since uh, 2006. Uh, these coins here uh, carry a much higher premium in Singapore, so I thought that I should uh, purchase this while I was in the United States, where I can save a little bit on the premium. As we move on with this video, I'm going to go through the specifications and the design of this coin before uh, sharing with you my final thoughts. But before we get into this coin, uh, please leave me a like if you enjoy this sort of content and don't forget to share and subscribe. So let's get into it. Alright, uh, so here's the Go Buffalo coin out from its uh, plastic flip. And let me just go through uh, quickly uh, the specifications of this coin. Uh, these Buffalo coins here were minted in 49 fine gold. They have a weight of 31.105 grams or 1 troy ounce, a diameter of 32 millimeter, and a thickness of 2.95 millimeter with a fully weathered edge. Here on the obverse, we have this image patterned after the US Buffalo nickel designed by James L. Fraser. Uh, on it, you can see an Indian head facing to the right, and on the border, you can see this word liberty. While right down here, we have the year of issue. 2022. Uh, just below that, we have the initials of the designer, the letter F. And this coin here is uh, a bullion coin in a BU condition, so it's minted at the Philadelphia Mint. There is a proof version, and for the proof buffalo coin, you will see a W letter mint mark right over here, which stands for the West Point Mint. Moving on to the reverse, uh, we have this image of a buffalo, again uh, designed by James Earl Fraser. The buffalo is facing to the left and around the border we can see the lettering United States of America, the words in Latin E Plaribus Unum and down here the words in English In God We Trust and just below the buffalo the face value of the coin at US $50. Uh, just below that we have the composition of the metal 1 ounce and 4 nines fine gold. Uh, currently, there are no mintage numbers uh, released for this 2022 Gold Buffalo, but being a bullion coin, I expect the mintage to be uh, several million. Okay, I went ahead and placed the Gold Buffalo coin in a capsule, uh, which I found among my stockpile. And with the design and specifications out of the way, uh, let me just share with you my thoughts. Uh, these Buffalo coins here uh, do carry uh, quite a high premium when compared to the other bullion coins available in Singapore. So I was uh, quite happy to invest in this coin when I found it at uh, bullion exchanges. It's unfortunate that I wasn't able to get the uh, Sunshine Mint uh, 10 ounce silver bars. Uh, if I had managed to get a few of those, uh, it would have uh, been good for me because uh, those uh, bars are quite in demand here in Singapore and the few that I've seen are being listed for private sale are quickly sold. It is also my understanding that these gold buffaloes were only given the face value of US $50 from 2006 onwards, and they are considered coins up until the current date. It's also my understanding that prior to 2006, these gold buffaloes did not have a face value, and they were considered as gold bullion rounds. Let me know if I'm correct on that, and if you have any other information, uh, please uh, share that below in the comment section with all of us here. Now, I don't really have much gold in my stack. Uh, it's primarily a uh, silver. And this uh, one ounce uh, gold coin here will add uh, quite a substantial amount to my uh, gold portfolio. 
hopefully one day I will do a video on what gold coins that I have. And if you'd like to see that, leave your comment below in the comment section. Well, with that, I guess that's going to do it for this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, stay tuned to the end to see some uh, video footage of my hotel room in New York City. If you do have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them below. Otherwise, uh, don't forget to leave me a like if you've enjoyed this content. And be sure to hit that share and subscribe buttons down here if you have not done so. As always, uh, from all my friends here, y'all please take care, be safe, and have a nice day.